Hey there, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym of Wellness. Today is just kind of like a nice little fun thing. Um, my man, Rich Spicer, I knew him back in the day when I worked at this other gym. We won't say what, what the right. name of the gym was. But, um, so, um, local gym, but this guy, he was down in North Carolina. Right? Yeah, I've been in Fayetteville, North Carolina for 12 years. And he moved back up here and he wanted to come see my gym. And um, so, he, you know, we just wanted to sit down and discuss with you some different things. And this man has done, he's got several, 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 um, what do you want to call them? Titles, bodybuilding titles. I'm just going to scan the back here with all of his trophies. And we'll pull them up. But he, my man has won some shit so there we go so rich what's going on man well uh first i just want to thank you for letting me come in no, here and thank you it's uh, been share, a while it's good share some you. stuff yeah it's been years and um uh you know i know that the time that i've been away you have opened up this new facility and i just had a quick look around and you got a lot of stuff in here and a lot of stuff i like to try out one day okay and some new machines and different things yeah. and uh, i really like it it's i know really you saw my play. uh smith machine out there you're like oh my god we yeah. get a whole bunch of stuff now, on this thing now the machines you know, like you can do a whole lot of different body parts all in one spot yeah you know, i like that yeah and if you're going back and forth um like between chest and back, you know, you can go from doing benches there to some kind of lat pull right. lat movements. Yep. And, yep. And that's you don't, really cool. don't need a lot of space, you know. Yeah. You, you oh, can yeah. you can get a good workout in like you yeah. know condensed. I really like it. I really like it. Areas so I wanted to come by and um, uh, maybe share some of my experiences. Though I'm an older guy now, I'm 66 years old. Uh, when Rock I was on. well, <laughs> yeah, I'm Rock 66. Rock on. Uh, <laughs> when I was. Um, 47 is when I was in my, in the Nationals uh, in 95 and 96, so they were my best years, and then after I competed in the Nationals two years in a row, I kind of just dropped out of competing, and I felt that um, I had done the best I could do, and, and uh, other things were needed to be taken uh, place in my life, and it was time to move on, you know? Yeah. But, uh, hey, most of my life was in bodybuilding. Right. You know, this I started is how, training when I was 11 years old. This is how I remember this man back in the day. That's my man right there. Yes, that's cool. That's how I remember him. Yep. Not too far from right now. Yeah, I can get back there. I mean, it's a little harder the older you get. Yeah. But your testosterone levels change and all the hormones now. But, um. Yeah, I'm almost 46. Don't even talk to You're me about great. hormones, You're man. Looking great. You're looking I don't even want to hear it. Well, um, why don't we talk a little bit about um, some of the topics here? Well, I mean, you know. One, with nutrition. Yeah. You know, definitely, like, I do meal plans and I help people, you know, just. And I'm going to say this, ordinary people lose yeah. weight. Moms, dads, you know, kids, whatever, you know, help them lose weight, um, you know, for whatever goals that they're trying to achieve. And, you know, and I'm strict on my meal plan. And sometimes you have to be a little strict. But to be a bodybuilder, I mean, and I know you probably, you didn't want to talk too much about bodybuilding per se. Yeah. But, you know, the bodybuilding with the nutrition, I mean. It's you just. Know, that is unbelievable. So my meal plan compared to what he had to do to get on stage is nobody wants to it's, do that. It's another world. But it's, it is another, it is world. another world. And um, but how important is that? Just in every day. Oh well, I'll tell you how important it is. I made a note at the top of the page, and this varies between some of the bodybuilders that I've talked with over the years. And I have spoken with hundreds of bodybuilders, and I've met uh, back in the day, in during the nineties. You know, I met all the pros i knew a lot of pro bodybuilders and um because they would be at the shows doing you right. know, um, different things seminars and what have you and uh, and then i met all the natural bodybuilders in which i was involved in which means that everybody is um tested before shows you cannot have ever been on steroids not two years out but you could not have been on right. steroids ever, ever. because right. a guy that was on two years ago and he hasn't taken them in two years, he still has a great advantage. Most people don't, don't realize that, but he can get back in that gym and pump yep. up like nothing before yeah. because he had been on them before right. Right. and he has an advantage. So um, uh, the 
the organization that I was with, um, the American Natural Bodybuilding Conference, which was out of Massachusetts, um, they tested everybody at every show, and um, you could never have been on steroids ever. So that made it really tough. And right. believe me, I saw guys coming in there who were just 20-year-old guys with 19 and a half, 20-inch arms, and they were saying they had never been on steroids. And I watched them go bye-bye because they, they failed were. the test. Right, <laughs> right, right. So it was pretty cool. Yep. You can say what you want, but... Yeah, but I know what to look yeah, for. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and by the way, people that are on steroids or have been on steroids, um, there are signs to look for. And we don't need to get into all that right now. But I knew what to look for. They right. knew what to look for. And the uh, signs were evident. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. 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 So, well, what can you tell me? Why don't we talk a little bit about diet? Because I think the people that come in here, probably most of your clients are looking to lose a few pounds right. and uh, want to lose some weight and, and need to improve on their uh, nutrition, on uh, your diet, and uh, maybe talk a little about supplements and, um, and that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I see you have at the top 70 30. Me personally, I always say, you know, the nutrition is 85% uh -huh. of, of, of that. And, but and, it's, and so it, it's definitely a major, major yeah. high percentage right. of how you're going to see the results. It is. Because we can work out 24-7. Absolutely. And not see a result if you're not eating proper. And one of the things, what, what Danny's saying here is that I wrote 70% diet, 30% training. And this was kind of the norm back when I was training. I think it has changed a lot. Yeah. And, um... Uh, and even at the time when I was in, in the competitions, some guys were making a 75, 25, or, or uh, whatever. They yeah. were, they, it was kind of like they had to make it fit for right, them, what right. worked for them. Exactly. And that's what I'd like to point out, because when we talk about diet, even though there's a general thing, some things, and I'm going to give you an example on this, some things work for some people and some don't work for others. Yep. Okay? Now, here's what happened to me. It was back in another gym way, way many years ago. I was 19 years old. I was training at this gym. This guy was in there, and he had just won Mr. Maryland. And he was a young guy, like 20, a couple of years old. I was just uh, 18. And... Um, I was impressed by this guy, and we became friends, and I wanted to know from him, hey, man, like, what is this diet thing? What do I need to do in order to get more muscle mass, put on more weight, right. uh, yet stay trim around right. my waist, do all the things, right, you know? Right. So he gives me his diet, man. He writes it down, you know, like in 10 minutes. He wrote this little diet. Thing. Said, this is what I've been eating. He gained 18 pounds on this diet. So... Uh, he said 18 pounds in two weeks, okay? So me being on the high quest man looking for the answer, <laughs> I went on his diet for two weeks, and I lost 17 pounds. And I wanted to gain weight. Right, right. On his gain weight diet, right. I lost. Right. My metabolism, his metabolism, his body type, my body type, yep. totally different exactly. animals, yep. and it just didn't work. Exactly. And it was that point that I realized there's a secret out there, and I'm going to find out right. what it is. And as the years went by, from trial and error, mm -hmm. yeah. outside of the norm, right. I had to find what would work for me right exactly and not for you and that's for them. and that's what i tell you know like i when i do a meal plan basically because most of the time it centers around people needing wanting to lose weight right sometimes it centers around somebody wanting to gain but and i always say you know it's this is this is our our starting outline this is where we're going to start absolutely then we have to you know go by and go through and, and everybody that's done a meal plan with me knows that i say the first two weeks do not substitute anything because I have to figure out, is it going to work? Is it not right. working? Are you right. gaining weight from this? Are you losing weight? Are you losing weight too fast? Are you not losing weight? You know, so all of these things play. So, you know, you, you have to go through a trial and error. But, you, you know, I, I have the, the specific from doing it over 23 years. I have a specific you know, outline that I personally do. No one I've ever seen does a meal plan the way I do a meal plan. Right. I, it's it's just different. Not even you know, it, it, Jillian Michaels does something different. You know, whoever right. else, everybody else does something different than what I've designed. And my way for twenty three years, it's right. it's, it's worked. And for you people that that are thinking about coming here, or for you members that are members here, believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Danny knows her stuff. She's been around a long time. I remember when we worked in the other gym. Um, I had already been working there as a as a trainer, and then I remember the day she came in, and so I know she's been around 
a long time ago. I'm not saying she's I, old. I was going to say, I and didn't I didn't she was old. get around. No, I've been old. around. Yeah. Okay, clear yeah. that up. Then we'll clear that up. But <laughs> she knows what she's talking about in this in this industry and this business of training and nutrition. And you can't have one without the other. You really can't. No. Nope. You can't have one without the other. They go hand in hand. They're like the glove. And you've got to have both. You can't just go out there and work out like crazy and, and go out and, and eat pizza and drink beer all the time. It's just right. not going to happen. Right. Okay. So you've got to understand nutrition. You've got to start spending some time listening to what she's telling telling you um, read on it and believe me you will find books that one book contradicts the other yep. and they're both well-known people yep. they can be doctors of nutrition doesn't matter they contradict people all the time they always have and they always will that's why you have got to get together with Danny and together you work it out until you find out what works for you and that's all that matters that's exactly. all that matters now I'm going to give you another example now hang on one second Go ahead. we're going to say that for part two. Okay. We Making can do people that. tune in again. We right? can do that. So we can do that. that's part one. That was part one of that. We're gonna have part two. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah.